All it takes is just one announcement and everything goes haywire. If we think a life is start right now, there's always someone who has it worst. And that's why I went to buy a bug load of items for kids in orphanages, helped out the old folks home with some cash, and come on lah, the amount of people taking photos when trolleys are full is a mad. Plus, it's a Rishi's video, I had to have some fun. <laughs> So I wore this board all around to spread a good message and let people know that I'm not stocking up for war season. This, my friends, is a story of how I met Lumos, the charity edition. Also, during this entire process, I've seemed to figure out who's the worst hoarder in Singapore, which you'll find out why later part in the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here I was, just sitting at home thinking of a random video idea. Should I talk about the return of Biao Tan? Nah, oh, it was so cringe. Or should I wear my uniform and my badge and show her my... But then I got an email from Lumos and the only thing which mattered in the email was huge fan and subscriber of your YouTube channel and love your funny commentary content. Me? The commentary? The funny? Mm. Mm. I mean they also wanted to give me some cash and review their product but ah, uh, that's besides the point. Do you think we'll get arrested buddy? I think we will. Eh? We'll get arrested? <laughs> Dude, the board is damn big. You, you saw the board right? Yeah bro. Yeah but uh, you know what? Oh, fuck it lah, let's, let's do it lah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do Right after this point, I posted an Insta story and I got a call from one of my friends in the law space telling me to be careful due to Public Order Act Section 5 and how it can be of inciting certain events. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so obviously I got the news that I can't be wearing the uh, board around because I may or may not be inciting certain stuff. <laughs> But you know what? I still, I still uh, brought it along with me. So um, let it be part of my journey. Let it be part of my journey. It's better to leave it here than to start up another case, lah. <laughs> let's let's stay away from that shit. We don't need another case. <laughs> Yeah, we are on the way to Amokyo Hub right now to uh, get the stuff for the kids and then uh, yeah, we'll be on the way to the charity. So I, uh, uh, man, what a, it's it's just disappointing. It's just really, really. I was excited. Uh, never mind. Let yeah, let's go to NTC, man. The children will drink soya bean. I think so, yes, sir. But they don't take a lot of milk with you. You, as a young kid, what do you drink? Milk and soya bean. They, I think Scott Scott liver oil, bro. Bro, enough, bro. Bro, Scott. Enough, bro. <laughs> Dude, we just started. We just started. <laughs> So while we were taking every item off the shelves individually, this amazing, and I mean amazing stuff came up to us and asked us if we need any help. So I said that I'm taking a lot of items because I'm doing this for charity, right? And ever since I said that, bro, the entire time I was in NTC, she stayed with us like throughout. She started climbing up the ladders, taking up the boxes for us, recommending items for the kids. Yo, it was like a god send and I am so damn appreciative. Oh, the, the box, ah? Yeah, I, I must go outside. Give me like, give me like two boxes. Two boxes. Box. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I wait here. I wait here for you. I will not run away. Don't worry. <laughs> she asked me to wait here to help me. Where? Where is she? Oh, she's back. <laughs> she's back. Yes, Ati. Well done. Well done. <laughs> yes. Hey, alamak. Oh, do properly. Do properly, yeah. Sorry, Ati. I'm very messy person. <laughs> Tell me you all don't love her, man. Tell me you all don't love her. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> hey, I open a bit. Ah, can, can, can. Yeah, because the cashier needs, right? Huh? The, yeah, can, can, can. Who are you? Yeah, can, can, can. I mean, okay. godsend. It's a godsend for our video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't mention. I sure. It's our job, man. I think we got anything we need down here. I think no more already. Huh? Next is, oh, the Milo packet. Oh, okay, okay. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. She literally followed us throughout the entire time and I was so thankful. She was telling us which one was easier for the kids to drink, which one I should buy, yo. <laughs> Best! Auntie, you help us a lot though. My whole NTC with me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's different, huh? Different? Oh. <laughs> Deep, bro. <laughs> yeah. Ah, correct, correct, okay. Yo, this auntie is a godsend, bro. She from there until the next aisle, until here, she's still following us. She's also part of our video now. Okay, so uh, okay, so what what else we need? What else we need? Uh, wine, beer. <laughs> Speaking about that, see what I found. For goodness' sake, Perudas. 
Bro, enough of your shit, bro. Nick, what enough of my shit? You know who loves me and needs more of my shit? Who, bro? Bro, it's none other than... It's a Lumos, baby! Lumos is a local brand that specializes in home cinema projectors. A small compact device like this can turn your entire wall in your living room or even your bedroom into a home cinema with a huge projected screen up to 150 inches. There's Netflix, YouTube, all in built into this one small device with amazing picture and audio quality. But Rishi, that's gonna cost us a few thousand dollars. Bro, I love you all too much to do that. It starts from 199. 199? You heard that, right? 199. I also know us Singaporeans, including myself, don't buy things without reviews. But fear not, Lumos has over 600 reviews from customers who've actually purchased their products. Feel free to check them out with the link in the description. Big thanks to Lumos for sponsoring this video. And back to NTUC we go. At this point, we were completely done. Once again, thanks to the godsend stuff. She spent things up so much for us. However, with everything that I bought, it was like 369 bucks. That's not enough. We went down to the car, we loaded the whole damn thing, we went up again, got another trolley full of stuff, and spent like another $100 or so, and off we went to the charities. <laughs> The home was really really nice to us. They allowed our vehicle to come in to unload all the stuff that we bought for them and also because of health and safety reasons, me and Fun didn't want to stay there longer than we needed to. We just wanted to unload the stuff for them, have a quick chat and then make our move and we couldn't see any of the kids because of fucking COVID. I mean, sucks man. Also guys, for the next 30 seconds or so, the audio is going to be a little soft. That's because I purposely spoke softly in order to not like hurt anybody or like be rude in any way to the staff or the kids or literally anybody there. But I've included subs. Um, so yeah, just um, read it if you need to and yeah. Anyway, if you guys didn't know, Pertapis Children Home is actually a home for abused kids from 4 to 16 years old. This centre actually helps them to um, reintegrate into society, right? And they do it through education and that's why I thought like giving them this projector will definitely be of Felt like regardless of what their curriculum is, it's better it's with them than it's with me. Amen. Uh, this one you wanted to pass it to us. Uh. It's a projector. Oh, because okay. what we learned from your website, I actually went through the whole thing and you guys actually like help abuse children to go through this education, right? Yeah. This one projector can show the whole world. Oh, okay. Like can project the whole thing and then inside will like Netflix, YouTube and everything. Oh, okay. So regardless of what your curriculum is, it will definitely be of help to you guys. Okay. It will be better if you guys and you guys have the children and uh, we do charity runs every now and then. So I thought it would be very helpful for you. No, it's okay. I don't need any formalities. Yeah, I don't need any. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. You see, this is why this is why we do when when there's sponsors, we really can do a lot of things like this. And uh if Kobe never spawned my plans, I could have called like <laughs> I could have called some of you guys to join me, some of my more of my friends. But yeah, it would be cool. Uh. There's food banks, there's even more homes for abused children, broken families. There's a girls' home where they I can't get the words in my head right now, but you guys you guys get what I mean. <sighs> okay. So we are done with this place and uh, we got one more old folks home to go to obviously. And now we are on route there. But you know what? Before we go there, there's one more important place that we need to go to and that carries more importance than going to the old folks home to help them and that is none other than home yeah home stay home yo it's really really bloody serious out there seeing how the number of unlinked cases is just rising non-stop and also the message of just head out if you need to is being constantly pushed to us right and that just makes a lot of sense considering like looking at how things are now la. but like i said we are not done we still are going to help out the old folks home the difference is i didn't have the need to loiter outside in order to do that so i decided to just stay home yes i've said that so many times stay home <laughs> So when I was doing my research, right, I found out that when giving money to homes, it will be used in like so many different aspects and so many different ways. And when it comes down to our seniors, you can see that it's written here like $100 is for one month supply of adult diapers, $150 can help them return trip with the ambulance, so on and so forth. And I'm pretty sure like this is just the start of how like money can help them. And since I'm donating money to them, there wasn't a need for me to go down to the homes to hand them in cash. And that's why like, like I said, like, there wasn't a need for me to be outside. So yeah, we are going to donate this to the Lions Home for the 
elders and yeah then hopefully this helps a couple of individuals uh, with whatever their necessary um, stuff are or medical stuff regardless of whatever hopefully it helps them out a bit yo I swear I could have made this video like 5 times more entertaining if it wasn't for how hard the virus is hitting us right now and also and also the loss of Singapore of course I, will, I didn't want to incite anything or even like pe make people think that I'm inciting anything and just for the record I, I wasn't okay it was just for the fun of the content but it is what it is we just gotta do what's right imagine me carrying the board and going inside the MRTs and giving my own Rishi's version of the presentation yo I could have done such a better job last Su um, what a waste lah What a waste but Staying home is the best thing That all of us can do In order to actually be of help And I am ready to just Glue my ass down here And film, edit, upload Film, edit, upload Like <laughs> just rinse and repeat it Over and over and over again Also gotta say a huge thanks Again to Lumos For sponsoring this video And allowing me to actually Be of help to the people In need during this difficult time And yo seriously lah the, the thing is like so small But like shows your whole wall lah <laughs> Like hey I've said enough I've said enough The link is in the description Go and check them out I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy this little story time of mine that I managed to put together in a video. And yeah, stay home, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Of course, please, please subscribe. <laughs> you're trying to grow and, and you know bring in more things and do more exciting stuff. So subscribe, subscribe to the channel. You won't you won't regret it. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next week, man. Peace.